Carol Perna, and I'm 11. And I'm Carol Perna, I'm his mom. Joey P, another former student of the month. So Joey, Joey's another wrestler. He's another athlete that takes, as you know, it's during wrestling season, so he kind of balances his time accordingly. I've been doing judo a little over a year now. We love that he's doing judo. He he um he also wrestles, so judo fits really well with his wrestling, and uh, he's learned he's learned a lot from both both sports. Joey, when we said, "What's your goal? I want to be a Navy SEAL." Okay, that's a pretty. So right there, you you already kind of realize that a 11 year old kid or a 12 year old kid has a pretty it's a pretty you know focused goal. Kid's amazing. He can do. You know, he just, he goes that, that extra mile that no one else really wants to go. People might say it, but he will actually do it. Um, the most important thing I've learned from doing judo is um, discipline and respect. I have to agree, discipline and respect. He's much more respectful at home than he was probably before judo. Although sometimes it can still be a little uh, preteenish. Before judo, my life was um, I did a lot of other sports. I've done gymnastics and football before I did judo, and I did wrestling, and I continue to do wrestling. So um, I decided to take on judo and. What, and um, gymnastics wasn't really having time, so we took it out. In wrestling, he had this chance to kind of help raise money for a certain, uh, I think it was a thyroid cancer, um, which his mom suffered from and you know beat it, of course. But um, Joey wanted to do something nice, so he said, for the entire wrestling season, if for every pin I get. You know, I'll raise, it costs $25 for every pin I get in wrestling. For every point or every takedown, I get this. So he ended up raising a couple hundred dollars and just donated out of the kindness of his heart. It's wonderful that he's able to not just want to help people like that, but have a plan in motion. <laughs> you thought it like, what? You're, you're how old and you did what on your own? Just to, out of the kindness of your heart? Uh, it's really cool that he thought of that and like introduced like sports into it too. Like he didn't just try to like walk around and raise money. He like and to do something like that he loved wrestling into it. It's impressive to see someone that's his age actually go the extent that he goes to get that he wants. His, his first sport is, is wrestling and that's he's been doing that a lot longer and it just but the judo fits beautifully with it and he likes that here because it's a world it, this is a world-class uh, world-class athletes train here and that's, that's why we came here in the first place, was because it was a home, home of um, Olympic champions. If you take on judo, it is definitely gonna be a fun experience and you'll benefit greatly from it. Never have to tell him to work harder. He listens when, you, when he's being coached. He, he's a hard worker. It just really kinda, it blows your mind when you have these kids because you're like, I can't, I can't help this kid, he's already perfect, what, what, what more can I do for them, you know what I mean? But he's another one we're always really excited to have in class.